Hey guys, once again welcome back to Cyber Geek and in today's video we are going to continue with our Wild Shark series. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to monitor your Wi-Fi network and to see some basic the authentication attack and how can you see the, like someone is doing and something is wrong with your Wi-Fi network. So you can use why we use wi uh, Wireshark two is for monitoring Wi-Fi networks, find any kind of malware is there, or to solve DNS problem. If the when you are when you can ping with Google, but when you try to open it on your web browser, you cannot open it due to DNS problem. So you can solve that with that, and you can find the nature, and we can see many things in Wireshark. But you now today's goal is to see how to identify if there is a deauthentication attack on your Wi-Fi network. So it's very simple, and I'm just gonna keep it as simple as much possible, and it will be very quick. So. <laughs> Right now over here, if I just open this one, oops, not this one, this one. So right here you can see I am doing a uh, particular BSSID scan on of an Wi-Fi network over here. Now I am connected with this network. So I am just scanning that particular and I have set my channel to one. Now what I am going to do is that. Uh, I'm going to do the authentication attack on this now over here. If I just wait a minute, that's the Wireshark tool. I'll just smaller. This is one. Yep, and I'm just gonna start the scan once again. Okay, the continue. Uh, I mean, the scanning has been started. Now you see over here there will be so many acknowledgement stuff and will be going on. Now the network looks fine and everything is working fine. Now. If someone is doing the authentication attack on your Wi-Fi network, so how you gonna notice that? So right now we are just going to do the authentication attack on this Wi-Fi network, and we're gonna see how you can see it in Wireshark. So I'm just gonna click, and the attack has been started. Now over here you see something, right? The authentication, the authentication, the authentication, the authentication all the time. So I'm just gonna stop this one. I'm gonna stop the packet sniffing too. Now let's just go up and see over here. Now you see over here, right? The authentication signal zero, FN zero, flex, right? You can see the authentication, the authentication, the authentication. So this is how you can identify if someone is doing the authentication attack on your Wi-Fi network and why your Wi-Fi network is not working. Sometimes there may be a problem in Wi-Fi network, but if you know how to use a Wireshark tool, you can just open it and you can see if something is wrong with your Wi-Fi network and you can see that someone is doing the authentication attack on your network. So you can easily see that the source it says extreme. Let me see what else we can find with that. So the, I think we can, there's nothing much, but you can see over here, I think that's a MAC address. Yep, and that's the BSS ID which we did. Oh, sorry, that's the BSS ID, not MAC address. Uh, let's just go with the frame. Nothing much over there. Your notification flag. Frames. Is anything you can find? No, you can't find anything. But still, uh, But still, if you are doing an the authentication attack on more secure Wi-Fi network, your IP address can be easily tracked because this is basic one. I'm not doing in anyone's Wi-Fi. I'm just doing with my mobile phone network, so we can easily identify that one. Now, if you are doing it on more secure Wi-Fi network, so they can easily track your IP address and they can easily find you out too with your MAC address. Once you get back to connect it on your internet once again, so you can see how easily you can identify what's wrong with your Wi-Fi. Okay, now our goal was to see how to find the authentication. I mean, how to see how the authentication looks like on a Wi-Fi network when you are using Wireshark tool, 
and why we should not do the authentication attack normally on anyone's Wi-Fi network because this is not good if they have mechanism when high secure then it will be very trouble for you and we should not do it don't be evil and don't do any evil work with it and don't disturb anyone because this is really illegal you must not do it running Wireshark itself is an illegal but if you are using if you are an employee and you are have authorized to do you can do it now everything is going on and whatever i teached you guys was on my mobile phone network and except one video which was on whole wi-fi network i have to take permission regarding that because i'm showing you guys the whole wi-fi interface right there so yeah we have to take permission because it's illegal even though you can i have not taken permission it's not a big deal but still you have to follow your ethics right you cannot simply just come and do whatever you want because they are also watching my videos and if i am just uploading something like that uh, they will suspend me from the college so it's it's not good okay now already my channel has two strikes and i hope it doesn't get any strike due to all these kind of videos which i'm showing right now i hope so okay that's all for today's video i'm not gonna give you any lectures right now and this is this is the simple way you how you can see and find the authentication attack on your wi-fi network so in my upcoming videos i'll be posting some tools and as i said my institute has been closed due to uh regarding um, coronavirus that's been spreading in india uh, due to which my institute has been closed for 20 days it was gonna have reopened on april 7 i guess till april 6 i have holiday and i have to go back home so i'll be traveling so that's why i'm gonna make all the videos one by one i'm just gonna keep it ready and keep on uploading them actually i'm just gonna upload and leave them because for reaching from here to hometown is nearly three days journey so it's not easy for me okay guys so let's see you guys in the next video till then goodbye Bye.